Due to the lack of armored vehicles, the Russians are throwing loaves into battle. As Build Military Observer Julian Ropk writes, the offensive of the Russian armed forces in the Kharkiv region is turning into an increasingly greater disaster for them. They failed to capture Kharkiv or create a buffer zone along the border to secure Belgorod. And now, due to heavy fighting, people and equipment have to be transferred there from other sectors of the front. According to him, the situation is worsened by a shortage of armored vehicles. Every month, the Ukrainian armed forces destroy about 80 tanks and 250 armored personnel carriers and infantry fighting vehicles. Russia does not have time to make up for these losses. Because of this, supplying the Russian group in Volchensk is now difficult. There is one 5 kilometers long road leading there, which is constantly being shelled by the Ukrainian armed forces. In the absence of armored vehicles, the Russians are sending civilian vehicles over them without proper protection. One recording shows a destroyed Soviet UAZ-2206 minibus, known as a loaf or tablet. Another shows a classic UAZ-469, he notes. According to Ropk, civilian equipment is being thrown into battle in the direction of the village of Glubokoi. Russia has been unable to make significant headway on the ground in Ukraine, despite opening a new front in the northern Kharkiv region on May 10, designed to pull Ukrainian soldiers away from the eastern front. That incursion brought its own problems, including prompting the US and Germany to follow Britain and France in allowing Ukraine to use their weapons on Russian soil. Опять по заводу попали. Охренеть. Смотри, что будет. Сука, еще пугал буду. А, давно летит уже. Это просто дрон, видать, да? Летит на дне или что-то. Ну, дрон не светится вроде. долетел куда надо сейчас дым пойдет да? Опять по заводу попали. Охренеть. Nine carriages of the Vorkutinovorossiysk passenger train derailed and overturned in the Komi Republic of Russia. Emergency medical teams have been dispatched to the scene. Trains have been stopped. The number of injured passengers has not been disclosed. The head of Komi, Vladimir Weba, went to the area where the train accident took place. There were no fatalities as a result of the derailment of nine carriages of the Vorkutinovorossiysk train in Komi. In general, the train consisted of 14 carriages carrying 232 passengers. According to preliminary information, there were no fatalities as a result of the incident, Western Interregional Investigation Department of the Russian Transport Investigative Committee said. The administration noted that 70 people were injured as a result of the incident.
News agencies quoted police and emergency services as saying injuries included fractures, bruises, cuts and head trauma. Video posted online showed passengers being hoisted through smashed windows of overturned cars before being led away from the accident. Several carriages were seen lying on their side on the edge of the railed. Russian news agencies quoted officials as saying that two auxiliary trains and investigators had been dispatched to help evacuate passengers from the area, made up largely of forest and swamp. <laughs> Тут вот вагон, и там вдалеке вагон, здесь народ 